In today's video, we will discuss, with any pressure transmitter, or other transmitter, 4 to 20 mA current loop connections. Why only 250 ohms resistance is used? This is very important in instrumentation. And, you should also know about this. For transmitters, you will need a power supply, so that, the transmitter can operate, in the 4 to 20 mA range. The transmitter will get power, and, the current loop will be maintained. This power supply is usually, 24 volts DC supply. The transmitter goes on, after power supply. The output signal of the transmitter, is the current signal. This signal is usually, 4 to 20 mA signal. To measure the output current signal of the transmitter, you need a load resistor. The resistance of load resistor is 250 ohms. By connecting a 250 ohms resistor, the current in the current loop can be measured. Now, the question arises that, why is it 250 ohms? See friends, PLC or any controller works on 1 to 5 volts DC. Now to convert 4 to 20 mA current into 1 to 5 volts, a resistor will be needed. Look friends, for this you have to keep a formula in mind. V equals IR. Here V is voltage. I is current. And R is resistance. Current we have taken as 4 mA to 20 mA. How much will be the voltage? We need to convert 4 to 20 mA into 1 to 5 volts. Now, we need to calculate value of resistance R. The value of resistance R will be determined from this formula. And, it will be, R equals V divided by I. Let's put the values, one by one. And, try to understand it. First, we will put the value of V, 1 volt. And, I, 4 milliamperes. Here, you need to pay attention that. 1 ampere will have, 1000 milliamperes. So, 1 milliampere will become. 1 divided by 1000 amperes. So, 4 milliamperes will be written as, 4 divided by 1000 amperes. Let's, put the values in the formula. R equals 1 divided by, the value of I. Means, 4 divided by 1000. And, here, 1000 will be in numerator. Then how much it will be? It will be 250 ohms. Let's discuss R at 5 volts and 20 milliamperes. V is 5 volts and I is 20 milliamperes. Here we can write 20 divided by 1000 amperes. Let's calculate the value of R. R equals V divided by I. The value of V is 5. I value is 20 divided by 1000. 1000 will be in numerator. 20 will be divided by 5 to 4 times. And it will become 250 ohms. From here, you must have clear in your mind that why the value of R is 250 ohms. Friends, now according to, 4 to 20 milliamperes. We will write, 4 to 20 milliamperes here. According to this, how can we get, 1 to 5 volts? Let's, understand this, at 4 milliamperes, the voltage was, 1 volt. If, we need to calculate at, 8 milliamperes. Let's see, V equals I R the formula we have seen earlier. Here, value of I is, 8 milliamperes. So, 8 divided by 1000. And, 
The value of R is 250 ohms. When we solve it from here, it will come 200 divided by 100. So it will be 2 volts. When I equals 8 milliamperes, similarly, if we take I equals 12 milliamperes, then what will be the voltage value? When current I was 4 milliamperes, it was 1 volt. When we double the value of current I, it became double. Now we have multiplied the value of current I by 3 times. So it will become 3 times. Similarly, at 16 milliamperes, it will become 4 volts, and at 20 milliamperes, it will become 5 volts. You can also check all these values by putting them in this formula. You will get the same values. Let's suppose a case when the resistance is not 250 ohms. Suppose we have taken the resistance. 200 ohms. Now, what will happen in this case? What will be the solution? At V equals IR, let's look at 4 milliamperes. V equals 4. Because these are milliamperes, so 4 divided by 1000. And resistance R is 200 ohms. When we solve it, it will come 0 0.8 volts. 0 0.8 volts is less than 1 volt. Similarly, if we calculate it at 20 milliamperes, so it will come 20 divided by 1000. We have divided by 1000 because 1 milliampere is equal to 1 divided by 1000 amperes. And it will be multiplied by resistance, and the resistance we have taken is 200 ohms. So if we solve it, it will come 4 volts, whereas it should have been 5 volts. 4 volts is less than 5 volts if resistance value is taken less. Then the value of voltage remains less, where value 1 volt was required. It is 0 0.8 volts, and where value was supposed to be 5 volts. It is only 4 volts. Similarly, if we take the value of R as 300 ohms, then what will happen? Let's take at 4 milliamperes. V equals the value of I is 4 divided by 1000, and the value of R is 300 ohms. If we solve it, it will come 1.2 volts. So, did you see, friends? Now, the value of this voltage has increased. It is more than 1 volt. Let's see it at 20 milliamperes. V equals 20 divided by 1000. We have also understood why divided by 1000 has been done. The value of resistance is 300 ohms when we will solve it. How much will it be? It will be 6 volts. And friends, 6 volts is greater than 5 volts. If the resistance value remains less than 250 ohms, the voltage remains less than 1 to 5 volts range. And if the value of resistance is increased from 250 ohms, the voltage exceeds the 1 to 5 volts range. Because we want the voltage in the range of 1 to 5 volts. So, 250 ohms resistance is used. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching.